Right. Well, every year we try to host a game where we, uh, we spend time to honor our servicemen and servicewomen by having a military appreciation day. It's really an honor for us, particularly with Fort Bliss being here in our backyard in El Paso to be able to say thank you to those people that serve our country. Military Appreciation Day is an awesome opportunity for the soldiers and family members of Fort Bliss to come out to the University of Texas El Paso and enjoy a football game with a top-notch program, uh, but also get to see other soldiers uh, in static displays and also talk to recruiters and understand all of the opportunities that each of the armed services has uh, to offer young men and women of the surrounding community. I will support and defend. I think what was most profound for me today was to listen to the support in the stands when we presented the oath of enlistment in front of the stadium and all the football fans. There were 117 young men and women uh, representing the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard who took the oath of enlistment today before they head out to their respective basic training courses. And to listen to the, the fans in the stands recognize that commitment was pretty inspiring. If I could say anything to the University of Texas El Paso, President Wilson, the staff and faculty, and all the students, and especially the football team today, it's a thank you. Thank you for recognizing the commitment of military families, uh, of military service members, and all that they do to commit to this lifestyle, but also all that they sacrifice when they serve. We have this amazing opportunity to say thank you to those people who serve. We wouldn't have the country that we have, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have, unless men and women serve uh, before and, 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 and now and in the future, and our freedom depends on it. So say thank you to those people who serve us.